Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to explain sliders in JavaFX, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright everybody, so sliders. A slider is a sliding scale between a minimum and a maximum value. So if we adjust this knob on our track, we can select a value between the minimum and the maximum. There's both horizontal and vertical sliders. There's no real difference between the two except their orientation. In this video, we'll be using a vertical slider to behave as a sort of thermometer, and when we adjust the knob on our track, we can increase the temperature, let's say. Perhaps we'll just change the text of a label to reflect the new temperature. So let's begin. Select your slider, and we can change the minimum and the maximum value. I'm going to keep these as both 0 and 100 to represent a temperature in Celsius. So 0 would be the freezing point of water, and 100 would be the boiling point of water in Celsius. I'll keep that the same, but you can adjust those if you'd like. You can set the initial value. If I would like this knob right in the middle, I would say 50 then, because we're working with a range between 0 and 100. You can change the block increment. That is the amount your knob is going to adjust on the track whenever you click on it. I'll keep this the same. You can show tick marks, so different intervals show tick labels. On our scale, we only display these numbers on major ticks, and currently there's a major tick unit of 25, so we will have a major tick every 25 ticks, every 25 values, but we can change that. So if I would like a major tick at 10, well we now have a label at every 10 intervals, every 10 ticks. You can also change the minor tick count. Currently we have three ticks in between each major tick, but if I were to set this to 10, well then we would have 10 ticks between each major tick, and each major tick has the label of the current temperature. And I think that's enough for properties. Let's give this slider a unique ID. Let's call the slider my slider. And we'll create a label as well, so that when we adjust the knob on the track, we will change the text of a label. So let's find our label node. I'll place it here and I'll increase the font size. Uh, that's good. Okay, I'm going to give this label a unique ID. Let's call it my label. Make sure that your controller class is linked. And let's save and head to our controller class. Make sure that you save and update your fxml file. Head to your controller class and we'll use some fxml injection. At fxml, private, label my label at fxml private slider my slider and i think it's best if we create a variable to hold the current temperature this will be an integer integer my temperature okay now we need to add a change listener to my slider so we're going to utilize the initialize method based on the last video so we will need this class to implement initializable. I can never spell it. And since we're implementing an interface, we need to add any unimplemented methods. That's a requirement. One great use of the initialize method is that it's invoked automatically in the background and can perform any code found within after the root element has already been added. So we did not have the on action section to link a method to our slider. So we'll need to manually add a change listener to the slider. And within the initialize method, we're going to add a change listener to my slider. So within this method of initialize type my slider dot then value property method followed by dot add listener. And we're going to pass in a change listener. So within the parentheses of add listener, we're going to pass in a new change listener as an argument. So type new change listener, and let's set up a generic of a number. So angle brackets, number, then add a set of parentheses, and then a set of curly braces within. Okay, so we need to add any unimplemented methods, and the one unimplemented method is change. So a lot of this should auto-generate for you. So what do you want to do when you adjust the knob on our track? You would write that within the changed method. So the first thing that we should do is get the current temperature. My temperature 
equals my slider dot get value. Now this method here will return a double. So since we're working with integers, we should cast this as an integer. So let's add an int cast afterwards. So we will get the current value from our slider and store it within this variable of my temperature. And now we should change the text of my label to reflect this temperature. So take my label dot set text. And we're going to use integer dot to string my temperature. Then let's use some string concatenation to add degrees Celsius. And let's try it. So we have our label and we can adjust the knob on the slider to change the current temperature, the text of this label between zero and 100. Now, when we run this program, the label is initially set to a string of label. We can change that just by copying what we have here. And within the initialize method, let's just paste this code so that the initial label will be set to the current temperature wherever this knob is placed. Well then everybody, that is a slider. It's a sliding scale between a minimum and a maximum value. If you would like a copy of all this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. But yeah, those are sliders in JavaFX.